Yeah, no, bro. They talking about man arrested for going 150 miles in a rented Lamborghini. Let me tell you something off the bat. I rent cars. I rent cars. Now, I tell people, look, there is an installed speed monitor, which will alert me when you're going over a limit, which I think is very dangerous. Okay. Do I check it often? No. But if I get an alert, I'll look, I'll check. Okay, what's the max speed they're going? Okay, are they chill? Okay, I'll, I'll go based off the feed, too, of the vibe off the renter. Now, <clears throat> I I rent, like, C8s, GTs, AMGs, shit like that. You, I have a Urus, you know what I'm saying? Well, it's not mine, but my boy has a Urus, and we rent that as well. But, if you're going to go rent a Lamborghini, which just looks like it is a probably some type of a Ventador or something like that. I can't really see a Huracan, something like that. I can't tell. 150 in a Lambo is not that fast. Another thing I'm going to tell you. He looks like he is in the middle of nowhere. Hello? Do you have your license? So sorry. It's okay. Can you hop out real quick? Who rented the car? You did, okay. Come back here real quick. Mr. Rice, you know why we're talking? Yeah. What, what do you do for a living? I'm carpenter. Carpenter, okay. So, I, I'm not the smartest man in the world. Do you know about Pythagoras? Yeah. What, what do you do for a living? I'm carpenter. Carpenter, okay. He knows what he did. He's going, look at his shirt. Obviously, he loves fast cars. Do you see what he's wearing? He's going to a car meet. So, I, I'm not the smartest man in the world. Do you know about Pythagorean's theorem? Is, is that what you guys use in carpentry? Oh, the cop's trying to be a smart ass. Like to, to figure angles and stuff? Okay, trigonometry. Yeah, okay, so trigonometry. <laughs> trigonometry. <laughs> ah, checkpoint. That's one check. We're going to go point for point. Is, is that what you guys use in carpentry? Like to, to figure angles and stuff? Okay, trigonometry. Yeah, okay, so trigonometry. Okay. I'm not the smartest guy, but I know that in calculus, this. Like, what's the point of this? Just get to the point. 150 miles an hour and a 65 carries a lot of energy, especially when you're zooming around past people that are doing 65. Good point. So, I'm going to have to have you face your vehicle real quick. Do you have any weapons on you? Face your vehicle. Bring your hands back. You're going to be in custody for reckless driving. What's it? You're in custody, you're under arrest for reckless driving. That's crazy, bro. And that's for. That's because you're in the Lambo and he's in a cop car. Just keep it cheap. 150 miles an hour in a 65. Do you have any weapons on you? Oh, no. Okay. He's in the middle have you been drinking today? When was the last time you had any alcohol? Uh, maybe yesterday. Okay. Yeah, yesterday. Yes. Uh, He's full drunk? Nah. All right, why don't you come back here real quick? All right, what I'm cooked for, I got one in custody. I can get 27, 29, Illinois. Hello, do you have your ID on you? Yes, Wait, I'm going to get once by then. No, you stay in the car. Shows a Nevada 30-day operating permit, which expired. So is this your son? Yes. How old is he? Uh, 20. 20, okay. Hey, um, you want to write down a phone number real quick? You know how to Uber? Yeah, you're going to have to Uber from uh, the hotel. I can get you a ride, though. Damn. They're not even from there, bro. Why is you, bro? Dude took his son out, probably just spent 2500 on the car, if not more, with a deposit. And they're in a clear, open road, specifically in the desert, and he wanted to open up the Lamborghini. Yeah. Nope. So you, you want to write down this phone number? 
You want to put it in your, like in your notepad? I don't have a copy. If you can just add everything to the DR. And that's the police department where he's going to have to uh, make bail. Okay. Um, I, you don't have any cards? He's got, I came here with my dad. Okay, well, he, he, he should be able to make bail. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. They look like some good people, bro. Like, boy, what's up with you, man? You can't. I get it, but I don't get it. It's like the son is about to sit there lost, bro. They're not from there, bro. It's not like he did anything like, bro, he in the middle of nowhere. Kill himself then. Okay. Just just hang tight real quick. You got your ID back, right? 349. You also message Holman and see if he can be in route to assist. So what's going to happen is I got an officer coming to pick you up. You're going to go to the Henderson Detention Center in Henderson, in the city just where you just came from. And you'll be booked into the jail there. You can make bail. The bail is about $1,200. Yeah, sure. As far as I know, you can you can use a credit card. Okay. okay. They'll they'll hold you for a little bit and then then you get out. And what happens to my son? The car. Uh, well, the car's probably gonna get impounded. Your son, we can give him a ride to the hotel, and he can Uber back to where you guys are staying. So how do I get the? You know, I guess my question is, the car is a rental. How do I get the car? Well, what's going to happen is the rental car company, whoever owns the car, uh -huh. is going to have to come get that out of impound. That's interesting. Well, that, that's going to be here in Boulder City. But they, they'll know that because they, they have trackers on it. Like, okay. they, they know exactly how fast you're going, all that stuff. Yeah. And we're probably going to subpoena that information for four. Oh, so you know about this, <laughs> Mr. Officer. This is probably not the first time you did this, buddy. <laughs> oh, so you know. Oh, so this is his bread and butter. <laughs> this is this cop's bread and butter. He knows this rental company. Guaranteed. That's why he's not asking for no information, because he knows whose it is. He knows it's a rental. The whole time. That's why he's not asking for license or registration. He knows it's a rental. He's done this before to this car, and he knows the owner of this company. Guaranteed. Work. So, yeah, they, they, they log all that stuff. You, you hear them? They log all that. They try, they see, woo, woo. Better I mean, when you have a $200,000 car out on rent for, what what is that, like $1,000 a day? Uh, we just rented it for two hours. Yeah. Two hours? Are you able to make bail? Um, if I had to use a credit card, yeah. Okay. Well, should I explain that to my son? I already talked to him. Okay. Yeah. So what what will probably happen is rather than rather than taking you to the jail and having you sit there for up to 18 hours before they release you, I'll probably just take you to the police department. You can post bail there. But James, I'm gonna tell you right now, man, you you're gonna kill somebody out here driving that fast. I don't believe me. I mean, if you watch sports, watch Sports Center. I watched the news last night for the football player. 129 on a residential road. Speed limit's 45. Yeah. And, and honestly, I, I, I get tourists out here all the time renting these exotic cars thinking this is... Uh, what did I tell you? I get tourists out here all the time renting these exotic cars. Autobahn and it's not. I didn't... I know, I know. You, you don't intend to kill somebody, but no, shit happens and unfortunately I people I die. Fast. I couldn't believe I'm fast. Yeah. You probably can't feel it in a Lamborghini. You don't know you're going that fast. Right? So you're 150 miles an hour. Bro, you can literally in the Lambo, you can get to 150 like that. Approaching me at 1,291 feet. And you're not even the, the highest I've had out here. Um, veteran. <laughs> what I tell you? I can hear how you're talking veteran. Well, can I speak to myself? Uh, in a minute. Let me get the other officer here, and I'll, I'll, I'll have you guys talk. Because originally I told him you're going to go to jail. But if you can post bail, then you guys can get released from the uh, from from the station. Three, four, nine, Mary one. Did you ever get a response from uh, NHP? Can you message Holman see if he's available to assist?
This is crazy, bro. Is there an ignition button? You want to just turn it off? No, I think that's a... Oh, yeah. Okay. So what's going to happen is... I'm not going to take your dad to jail. But he's being arrested for reckless driving. He's going to go to the police department. And he's going to post bail. So I got, I got one coming to pick your dad up. And I got one coming to pick you up. They're going to take you to the police department. And then you guys can post... Uh, he can post bail there. And then you guys can go do other things. Okay. Rather than having him sit at the Henderson Detention Center for... Okay, I like that move. I like that move. One point, one point. Uh, almost. See, a, we got ten more minutes of the video. There could be some fuck shit, so I'm gonna go one point, one point. Day. Yeah. Um, Copy. Thanks. Because I've got one to transport to the station, and the in custody is gonna go post bail at dispatch. Someone pick this up. No, it's gonna be impounded. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and we have to pay for it too. Well, I, I don't know about that. That's between the rental car company and whoever rented it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But at least this way. You guys aren't sitting, sitting in de in detention all day. Yeah. Okay. okay. So with me? Yeah, I've, I've got another officer coming to pick him up. So that way, uh, we're not, we're not transporting him to the hotel, and he can Uber back to where you guys are staying. He can, because you'll be in and out in an hour, rather than taking you to the detention center, where you sit there for at least eighteen hours before, Checkpoint. One, one. before they release you. Okay. Uh, no time is money. When do you guys fly out? Okay. Yeah, you guys will catch your flight tomorrow. Mary one, can you advise DR number? <clears throat> hello, hello. So this is James. He's going to post bail uh, for reckless driving at the station. Okay. Um, do you have a, a booking sheet? Yep. I don't have any. Um, if you could just uh, write out a booking sheet, well, leave it. He in. looks like a dickhead. I'm not, I'm just keeping it at hundred. Look at him. He looks like it's not over. He's got. A, he's got pouch or he's chewing on some shit he's got that look he's got that look you better be nice bro dispatch for reckless he's gonna post bail for that so it's gonna be the 1140 plus 50 dollar bail fee so 1190 should, should be the bail amount okay and then they'll, they'll give you a court date you'll get released you'll get a court date and you can um either hire an attorney or come back and talk to the judge but you're gonna you're gonna have a, a court date later on so, you have ID? Yeah, um, it's right here. Hey, uh, Peyton? Yeah. You want to grab with us what kind of property you guys got? Just make sure you grab all your stuff. Yeah, please. And is that your ID? Okay. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Um, he's going to be in custody for 150 and yeah. his son needs a ride to our station. Okay. If you could just provide that courtesy transport, that way um, his dad's going to post bail at the station and get released rather okay. than booking into Henderson. Okay. And then I got uh, Big John's coming for the car. All right. Big John's coming for the car. <laughs> Big John, huh? If that's not a tow truck, um, you're shady. So this is Trooper Holman. He's going to be a ride to the police department. Okay. Um, are, are you aware that you guys were doing 150 miles an hour? What's going to happen is this, brother. Let me tell you guys, huh, cousins? Big John is the owner of this car. Either it's his tow guy coming to get it, or it's him to come get it, right? What's going to happen is they're going to say it got post, I mean, it got whatever taken to the police station, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And they're going to end up paying either the rental car company or the police station. One of the two. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know how this, you know what I mean? But they know the owner of this company. How are you passing other cars? Do. I know we are moving. Yeah, you guys were cooking. Cooking with plutonium. And that's <laughs> never good. I mean, I'm not a physics major, but I did take college algebra once, twice. Uh, not to be weird, but I haven't even gotten pictures of the car. It's pictures of it? Yeah, like we just rented it like 20 minutes ago. The way you like, well, I guess. Oh, 20 minutes? They had the car for 20 minutes? Oh, my gosh. 
Instagram pictures? Yeah. You want to take a picture too? <laughs> as long as you stay away from the traffic. I understand. Right? You, you're not in custody. So, okay. but but he, he does need to leave here like okay, in two um, minutes. Should I give this to my dad or? Uh, no, you, you hold on to that. I hold on to it. Yep. Okay. He needs his wallet. Yep. Oh, you got it. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I do with his license. Uh, I mean, bro, they came out of town, bro. They rented the Oh, there it is. Yep. Yeah, let me take a photo of it. So it ruins your plans. Yeah, well, that's fine. Can I have Big John's in route four? I believe it's a 2020 Lamborghini sports car. And if they can't, and if they can't accommodate it, can you call Big Valley Towing? What year is this? Oh, it's a 2021. It's going to be a 2021 Lamborghini. I'm sorry, 2021 Lamborghini. Uh, Huracan Evo. Do you, do you or your father have anything else in the vehicle that... No. He said there's... You got a backpack? Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, there's a back sack? What, what about key? Uh, yeah, do you guys want the key? It, well, the key needs to stay with the car. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, do you have an impound form? I just realized I don't have any impound forms. Copy. Confirming it's uh, 1225 is the last four of the DR. Tell old boy that's how you go out like heavy rugs. Yeah. Well, that's what we were just talking about. Should you give me his ID back? Uh, yes. Heck, I, I, thought, uh, I thought Kevin was on his way out here. That's why I was calling him. Oh. No. I didn't realize it was you. All right, man. Oh, go on. You're going to go with uh, Trooper Holman. Okay. You guys are going to the same location. It's just that... I don't have staffing to... Let them know that you're just going to hang out there until your dad's done doing his thing. Okay. All right, let me see your backpack. I'm just going to put that in the front seat. Yep. Uh, can I put this in here? Yeah. And then is the key in the car? The key is in the car, yeah. Okay, cool. And I, I want you guys to understand that I am helping you as much as I can. I know, I... No, yeah, that's... that's... That's love. Given the circumstances, Given, yeah. he's, he's not going to go to the jail. He's not going to sit in jail for 18 hours yeah. waiting to get released. No, I really do that way you guys can still catch a flight. Thank you. So there's paperwork. There's paperwork in the back seat. Uh, is that the, the map and stuff that Peyton got? Yeah, Pey Peyton. Hey, Peyton. Peyton, your dad has a question. Yeah, you got the paperwork or whatever. You got the paperwork? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was like in the, the back of the two, between the two seats? Yeah. Yeah, he got that. Okay. You guys with Yeah. You're with him? Yep, yep. And then um, just leave the booking sheet in dispatch. Okay. And then uh, I'll go. I'll be up there as soon as Big John's or whoever gets just this. Just the reckless. Yeah, just, just reckless. Bucks it to have, bro. 150 and a 65. Yeah, cool. Thank you, sir. Mm. Bye, man. That shit is hard, too. Yeah, get your pictures in, big dog. Yeah, I saw you text your girl. I seen you text somebody. Hey, yeah, no, I gotta do it today. Yeah, are you going with me to SEMA? Oh, no. Well, what, what, what do you have planned for me? Oh, yeah, because I thought you were gonna go see Ashley and uh, go get your what the fuck is going on? tattoo stuff done. Okay, yeah. Well, I I gotta return the solo stuff, you can't carry it. Bro, you think having a whole conversation? Get off the phone. So, oh, it's awkward, B.O.B. You shouldn't be doing that with your back. Okay, all right, Bubby. No, I know. Oh, yeah, get the fuck out of here. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Get the fuck off the phone. <laughs> Me too. But I, I, I'm stubborn, you. Big John's 97. Okay. All right, baby, I gotta go. Love you. Bye. This nigga is not about to tow this, this Lamborghini in that old ass truck like that. Hey, so uh, can you guys take this? Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't love these ones. I drive them back. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What?
Uh, what's the chance of damaging them? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Well, that's, that's why I told her. I said, if you guys can't accommodate it, call, call Big Valley. And, uh... I'm not finna let this nigga drop. I told him to go... Hell no. I'm going a few miles, so I'm not worried about it. Drive these in for Mark right here. Yeah. If it was way the fuck down there... Oh, he's way the whole down 95. Now you know how to drive this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Just keep it at 65. Oh, of course. Not 150 like this guy was doing. Bro, I'm not handing the keys to this nigga, bro. If you hand the keys to this... <clears throat> if this were my car... And I found out this nigga drove my car, I would be fucking pissed. Now, if he's doing this, and is this cool? This is all inside. With his with his twenty year old kid in the car. Are you kidding me? Nope. Idiot. Yeah, so I took my took my weapon off every <laughs> scratch. Yeah. Uh, let's see. They made him freaking pretty much fucking foolproof. Don't ask spell visible. Boom, boom, boom. That should be it. Oh, but thank you, sir. Very well. Be clear here and out to the station. Big John's has a vehicle. Hey, uh, I'm going to go up here to the, the Buchanan exit if you want to go through that gate. They had the car for 20 minutes. That's the part I can't get over. That's the part I can't had the car for 20 minutes that is the part I can't get over <laughs> they think it came and drove the car <laughs> I would have been hot 